Okay, so up until now we've been looking at solving quadratic equations. An example of this would be x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. And what you've been asked to do so far is to solve it. And by solving it you find out, well, what is the value of x? Now to solve it, first of all you factorise it, or you found the factors. And in this case, the factors would be, well, the facts of 12 are 4 and 3, and 4 and 3 add up to give us 7. So the factors would be x plus 3 and x plus 4. There are two factors. You then solve it and you get, well, x plus 3 must equal 0, and x plus 4 must equal 0. So therefore, x equals minus 3, and x equals minus 4. Now, we haven't called these anything yet, but these two answers here, the two answers we get when we solve it, are known as the roots of the equation. And that's an important word that you need to know. You need to know that they're also called the roots of the equation. Because sometimes what they'll do in a question is, they'll give us roots and they'll ask us to work backwards and find the actual equation. So remember, there's an important difference here. The factors are the two things that each one multiplied by the other gives us this equation, and the roots are the actual solutions for x. So let's look at an example of an, a question they could give you with this. Let's say in a question you were told the roots of an equation are let's say 2 and 6. Find the equation. And that's a simplified way of, of putting it, but that's the type of question you might get. Now, here you kind of have to work backwards. You have to say, well, x equals 2 and x equals 8. So let's work backwards and get the equation. So if we were working backwards, the step previous to this would be, well, if x equals 2, we'd say that x minus 2, right, x minus 2 would equal 0. And if x equals 8, we could say that, well, x minus 8 would equal 0. Now, we've worked backwards here. Initially, we had our roots, and now what we actually have is we have two factors. We have x minus 2 and x minus 8, and these are our factors. So to get our actual equation, we get our two factors, x minus 2 and x minus 8 equal to 0, and we multiply it out. So now it's just a matter of doing something that you've learned and seen hundreds of times at this stage. We've x multiplied by x minus 8, minus 2 multiplied by x minus 8 equals 0. x times x is x squared. x times minus 8 is minus 8x. minus 2 times x is minus 2x. and minus 2 times minus 8 is plus 16 equals 0. So x squared, we can add our like terms, minus 8x and minus 2x give us minus 10x plus 16 equals 0. And this is our answer. So not too much more difficult than what we've been doing up until now. All we're doing is we're working backwards. 